to another edition of Fast Facts Live. I am your host, the self-appointed quiz master of ceremonies, Dan O'Keefe. And we're back after our week off with another edition and more trivia ready to go for all of y'all. We do this for you. Um, no, we do this for us. It's just an entire ego thing. Um, for the first time this season, you did not see Tom pop up on screen before realizing, oh shoot, my camera's still on. I gotta turn that off. But now, Tom, turn your camera on. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. How are you, Dan? I'm great. You're outside. I, hear I am the birds outside. chirping and the cars churning. It's a great evening in Milwaukee. That's good. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say either. You're. I, I didn't even ask a question. I just more made an observation. Um, why are you outside? Because I can, Dan. Because I can. <laughs> well, you know the number one rule of improv is yes and? Yeah, but yes isn't a response to a why. No! <laughs> yes and, not yeah, but. I, I started an improv class yesterday, so I am, I am full in on these rules. They taught improv you. Improv 101. I don't understand improv like classes. There's because seven isn't levels. The, isn't the whole point to like not have a structure and to just no, go with the a flow? And it's not... just not to have a plot. Okay. Yeah, like go with the flow, trust your teammates, stuff like that. But also, there's like differences in short form and long form, and different kinds of long form. Um, there's heralds, and then. Like you gotta get the basics down. You gotta you gotta crawl before you can walk, walk before you can run, run before you can swim. That sort of stuff. I can swim, but I'm I don't really awful at running. I, I don't really like understand how the the order of learning works. Um, what ha what's after swimming? swimming? Do what's what after swimming? Run? Yeah, what's after swimming? I was gonna ask, do dogs run before they can swim? But I realized how dumb it was, so I cut myself off after do dogs run. Which is even dumber of a Which question. Which is what to I ask. thought I heard. <laughs> and I went, yes? Yeah. Or is that just their walking speed? <laughs> to, uh, to answer your question, what comes after swimming? The rules on how to play Fast Facts Live. <laughs> now you have me caught up. What a here. transition. Hello, I'm Charty. Welcome to Fast Facts Live. Here's how to play There will be five rounds of five questions each. You will have 20 seconds to answer each question. You must submit an answer for every question. If you don't know an answer, take a guess. After each round Charty Bot will ask you if you want to double or nothing. You can only use it on one round per game. If you got all of the questions correct, you will earn twice as many points. If you got at least one question wrong, you will earn zero points for the entire round. 
you will wager between 0 and 10 points for the Hail Mary question at the end of the game. If you answer correctly you will earn the amount you wagered, and if you answer incorrectly you will lose that amount. A tiebreaker question will be asked to everyone at the end of the game. Answers to this question will only determine the winner if teams are tied for first place. Don't cheat, think fast, and have fun. Good luck, let's begin. So those are the rules, that's how you play, it's really simple. Do I know something that I've realized, Tom? What? People do see my tweets, but they don't like, they only like them on occasion. Because when I post like a life update, oh boy, here come the people rolling out with those likes and those hearts. But when I post some dumb joke, they're like, six. Six is the limit. I love That's how the you. Most. I love how you brought up life update because I was gonna say something and then you thought you'd bring it up first. Is that is that what your plan was? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, we have a bunch of Congratulations, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if you don't know what happened, you'll learn by the time you'll learn. In, you'll learn in one names. of these team games. <laughs> So, in about, in, actually, I was going to say no particular order. Yes, in a particular order. In the order you signed up, here's all the teams that we have playing. Drama Goons and the Berry Best Day. Rise of the Dawn of the Planet of the Boomer. Nolan Gorman hits home runs. Alan Rickman. Malpal. Tarzan's Boys. Solo Psy. School is out, but camp is in. Tumbleweeds. Not everything is a competition. Yes, it is, Mom. Derek and his two, parentheses, amazing friends. Chet Holmgren wearing Joker makeup. Ding Slosby. Now is the summer of our discontent. And Dan proposed, and now my GF won't stop. In case you didn't catch it, I proposed. Um, I'm engaged now. You, your video That's froze it. the second you said something. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Perfect. The world of the what? What God. Did you I, I, I proposed a toast. And then some avocado on top of it. A little bit of cheers. seasoning. Oh. Um, oh. Cheers. Uh, since my feed cut out, I'll say it again. I proposed. I'm engaged now. Um... That's it. I don't know it's what else. To say. I don't have anything to. It's, I don't have anything to show cool. off. No, like I don't have a ring or anything. What? You didn't get. Here's one. the bill. <laughs> she didn't return the favor. Wow. Yeah, she didn't give me a ring. I, rings scare me. I'm always afraid they'll never come off my hand. Isn't that the point? I got wide knucks. So I'll just be swimming around on my fingers, then try to get it over my knuckle and be like. Chinese finger trap going on. Anyway, let's get into the game! <laughs> Things are going very well. Starting off with round number one. If it ever pops up. Tom's just cycling through things right now. There's the score. And his microphone is off too, so you don't get to hear it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's figure this out here. Do, do, do. We were on for so long before we started. We had time to test all of these. I, I don't know why this isn't working now. Uh, macros. <laughs> uh, question pip. We're calling run. Go. 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 Upstream key. DV. Uh, there okay, we go. Fast Facts Sausage Factory. I hope you're enjoying the tour. Uh, well, that's a. Uh, hold that's on. That was supposed to be there. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. We're getting closer. We are getting closer. Uh, now I'm in two places. And then we go. Ah! All right, we'll run with this for a little bit. Okay. I'll just I'll just tilt my head a little bit. Hey everybody, round one, fast food live. 
Oh, good. Now we're going. Question number one. Which chain recently opened a new store in Minnesota that resembles a bank with several drive through lanes outfitted with tubes, pneumatic, for delivery? 20 seconds. Question number two, we fixed the timer. What chain primarily features only one type of food on their menu, offered in box, caniac, and sandwich combination? It's 20 seconds. Question number three. England, of all places, claims to be the origin of fast food with what iconic seaside specialty? As we all know, in reality, England is only known for their atrocities. 20 seconds. That's it for question number three. Before we move on to question number four, I've been told to stall. So, <laughs> I will. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the new Barbie movie, Tom? Uh, it's certainly going to happen, uh, whether yes. or not I'm supportive of it. Uh, I think it will be good. You think it'll be Gerwig, good? It, she hasn't made a bad movie. That's all right. That's accurate. Right? Sure. Little Women and the other one? I don't know what her other movie... I really only saw Little Women. Uh, she did, uh, Lady Bird. Oh, I did see Lady Bird. Lady, Lady Bird's Bird great. Excellent. Better than Little Women. Yeah, but Ken in the new movie, uh, has blonde hair. Blonde hair. hair. Yeah. Yeah. Ken the you doll know, has dark blonde hair. blonde Ryan Gosling. Ken the doll has dark hair. I'm Don't aware. tell me how I, I had know a that. Ken doll. Oh, oh, okay. I know how I knew it. Because I had a Ken doll growing up. Mm. Uh, I want to thank Nick Cordonier for sending me the picture of <laughs> Ryan Gosling as Ken um, in cowboy uniform. I'll hold it up to the camera so people can see. The tweet says, first look at Ryan Gosling as Bronco Henry in the new Barbie movie. That's a white, white Henry. Yeah. Uh, see the power of the dog to get that joke. All right, Dan, you uh, you can you can now long enough. continue. You can continue. Anyway, back to fast food. Here's question number four. Sometimes you're at the Pizza Hut. Sometimes you're at the Taco Bell. And sometimes you're at the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. A match made in what Fortune 100 company that owns both brands? And our last round one fast food question. At In-N-Out, you can get your food in what style? But don't tell anyone it's part of their secret menu. So secret that it's a section on their website. That's it for round number one, our fast food category. Double or nothing if you've been through a drive through recently. Let's move on to round number two. Lin-Manuel Miranda writes, 
It's all trivia about the internet. That's, that's damn Favorite clever. Band. That's clever, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Originally, I had written this category to try to figure out ways to combine Lin Manuel with well Miranda facts and facts about Miranda rights and like the case that established Miranda rights. But that was too difficult, and I wrote these questions this morning. So instead, just Lin Manuel trivia. Question number one. Lin-Manuel Miranda was born and raised in Inwood, a neighborhood of Manhattan just north of what neighborhood that inspired his first Broadway musical? 20 seconds. Question number two. The first performance of any song from Miranda's Hamilton came at what president's evening of poetry, music, and the spoken word? The trivia is being added in next year. Question number three. Miranda's film directorial debut came with Tick, Tick, Boom, the biographical musical drama about what composer and playwright of Rent? What's his name? 20 seconds. Question number four. Miranda is one award away from being the 18th person to win an EGOT. Which award in the acronym is he yet to win? Don't just give me a letter. You gotta give me the full word for what that letter is. 20 seconds. And question number five. In a small role, Miranda runs into James Gandolfini and Tony Sirico in the 15th episode of the sixth season of what show? That is it for round number two, Double or Nothing. If you also ran into Tony Sirico and James Gandolfini in episode 15 of season six of A Show, uh, we are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the answers for the first two rounds, three more rounds of trivia, and that is it. So stay tuned.
Hey, we're back. It's still Fast Facts Live. In case you were worried that a different show started, also hosted by me. Um, Tom and I were just talking about the movie Triple R, uh, which is a, the Indian movie that is sweeping the nation right now. Go watch it. It's really, really good. It's on Netflix. Go watch it. That's all I but can say. It, but if you can see it in the theater, see it in the theater. I haven't seen it. I'm going to see it in the theater. It's like three hours and ten minutes. Perfect. So, I don't know if you, like, need to be able to pause it. There is an intermission. Just Perfect. Nice. <laughs> There's an intermission. Yes. You have no excuse. I don't know how long the theaters are going to play the intermission, but there is an intermission. Usually it's It doesn't minutes. feel like three hours. Because the fun, the nice thing about Indian cinema is there's like absolutely no fluff, and no, like it's like wall to wall action the entire time. Love it. So like you get done with your like holy crap it's been three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So yes, go see Triple R. That's the official Fast Facts Live Movie Club recommendation of the week. Come back next week where we will go back to recommending me. Let's go over the answers to rounds one and two. For Fast Food Live, which chain recently opened a new store in Minnesota that resembles a bank with several drive through lanes outfitted with pneumatic tubes for food delivery? You can get your Gordita Crunch at the automated teller machine at this Taco Bell. The ATM machine machine. Question two. What chain primarily it features only one type of food on their menu offered in box, caniac, and sandwich combos? Caniac, actually. It's Raising Cane's, the chicken finger place. England, of all places, claims to be the origin of fast food with what iconic seaside specialty? That's right, bangers and mash. Sorry, fish and chips. Sometimes you're at the Pizza Hut, sometimes you're at the Taco Bell, sometimes you're at the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. A match made in what Fortune 100 company that owns both brands? That is Yum! Brands. The named sponsor of the Louisville Basketball Arena. Bonus trivia for you. At In-N-Out, you can get your food in what style? It's on the secret menu. It's really just, you, you, get, a, you get their secret sauce which is a combination of Thousand Island and ketchup and some onions on top. Uh, but it's animal style. Their fries animal style are good. On a burger, maybe it would make their burgers good. Hot take! in and out burgers are not great. Question two, Lin-Manuel Miranda writes, Lin-Manuel Miranda was born and raised in Inwood, a neighborhood of Manhattan just north of what neighborhood that inspired his first Broadway musical? It is a neighborhood of Washington Heights. You had to say Washington Heights, not in the Heights, because that's the name of the musical, and not the Heights, because there are plenty of other places that are called the Heights. Lincoln Heights, Jefferson Heights, William Howard Taft Heights, pleasant, plenty of presidential heights. Speaking of presidents, the first performance of any song from Miranda's Hamilton came at what president's evening of poetry, music, and the spoken word? That was President Obama's evening of music, poetry, and the spoken word. Question number three. Miranda's film debut, directorial debut, came with Tick, Tick, Boom, the biographical musical drama about what composer and playwright of Rent. That man's name was Jonathan Larson portrayed in the film by Andrew Garfield. Question four. Miranda is one award away from being the 18th person to win an EGOT. He's yet to win the acronym. What award in the acronym is he yet to win? EGOT is an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, or a Tony. Actually, all combined. Lin-Manuel Miranda has not won an Oscar yet. He won an Emmy for Hamilton, a Grammy for Hamilton, and like 11 Tonys for Hamilton. No Oscar. Question five. In a small role, Miranda runs into James Gandolfini and Tony Sirico in the 15th episode of the sixth season of what show? Not a cameo, because he wasn't a star yet. It was in, like, 2006. It wasn't the man who he's known as today. That was an episode of The Sopranos. Sopranos, depending on whether or not you are in New Jersey. Round number three. Cold as ice. I didn't read over this category before, so I have no idea what the quote is. quotations mean. 
Question number one. You, you, you have played Jeopardy before, though, Dan. Ah, all answers have ice in them. Uh, Got it. Go. Figured it out. Bones is slang for what? 20 seconds. Question number two, I may have just given out the answer to question number one to somebody who was listening through the door. Question two. We all used to have to clean the balls of what peripheral? Ew, 20 seconds. Question number three, our ice round. You shouldn't try on other people's hats because you don't want to get what? That's right, made fun of. 20 seconds. Question number four. Mahi Mahi is a fish so nice, they named it what? Tom, I think you made this question too easy. And question number five. The Asian variety of the grass species Oriza sativa is more commonly referred to as what? That is it for round number three, double or nothing. If you can think of a way that I can work the word ice into the joke that I was going to say, that would be great. If you could figure out a way to splice it in there, that would be great. Ah did, you, did you learn that at improv class? Hey, man. Who's the first... Ignoring the fact that I've taken improv classes before. It was the first class of 101. You're mocking me. Yes and, Tom. Not yeah, but. Going to round number four. Round number four is, how am I supposed to know who made this album? It's a visual round. We're going to show you album covers with no words on them. And you have to get us the name of the artist. Not the name of the album. Just the artist, the musician who made the album. Okay, okay, not the artist who designed the album. No, not the not the graphic designer or the okay. photographer. Or no, the musical artist whose album it is. Good luck. Question number one. Well, it's a little cut off, but you get the gist. Whose album is this? looks like a promo photo, but I promise you, in the square, it's the album cover. But what's the name of this musical artist? 20 seconds.
Question number three. This is an old one, but you've seen it before. What album is this? Like no, the... no, not what album is this? What was the name of the artist? Question number four. This one might get a little messed up by the Zoom that we have. Um, but just consider this an extra challenge. What's the name of the band? Not the artist. Almost said it again. And our last album cover question. Okay, this would be a lot easier if you could see their heads. Uh, but too bad. Who is it? That is it for our album cover round. Uh, you're safe now, my parents. You don't have to guess these anymore. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the answers. We'll have more questions. And that's about it. But don't go anywhere.
Hey, everybody, we're back. And even though I was just leaning over and I scratched my nose as I was coming up, don't worry. I was just leaning over because I was trying to read something. Not doing the sweet, sweet cocaine. Not anymore. Um, speaking of which, we need money to fund our habits here. And you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash fastfactslive. There are different tiers of support, get you different perks, yada, yada, yada. You can also follow us on social media at Fast Facts Live. If you want to give us a one-time tip, you can do it on Patreon or through ChartyBot. Just click on the button that seems like you can give us money, and eventually you'll get there. Um, you can also buy our merch at shop.wearecreativeland.com. Um, and there's a new episode of In Conclusion coming out tomorrow. We'll be talking about, but I'm a cheerleader for Pride Month. I think that's everything. We'll be back next week. No interruptions for Fast Facts for the next at least a month, I think. So. Yeah, I'm in town for Wednesday, the next couple foreseeable Wednesdays. Yeah, same. So There's one in August. I'll do it from the beach. So Ooh. that's fun. From the shores of South Carolina? Uh-huh. Beautiful. I love it. I love that for you. Thanks. Speaking of love, let's go over the answers. Oh, you want to do that? Okay. I mean, I guess... Anyway, for round number three, cold as ice. Every answer has the word ice in it. Bones is slang for what? I thought it was money. Uh, I guess it's dice. I don't gamble. Because I'm bad at it. I never come up on top. Uh, question two. We all used to have to clean the balls of what peripheral? Tom wrote this category. Send all complaints to him. Mice. Question three, you shouldn't try on other people's hats because you don't want to get what? Everybody got this one correct because nobody wants lice. Question four, Mahi Mahi is a fish so nice they named it twice. Not nice, twice. And question five, the Asian variety of the grass species Oriza sativa is more commonly referred to as what? I thought it was weed, but no, it's rice. So on round number four, the answer is for how am I supposed to know who made this album? Just a picture of someone. I don't know what they look like. Back in the old days, back on the Frank Sinatra albums, it would always say Frank Sinatra on top, and then it's time for swinging, or dance with your girl, or my political views changed rapidly when my friend Reagan became president, but let's not talk about that. How am I supposed to know who this is? Question number one. Whose album is this? That is Olivia Rodrigo. The album is sour, and we're just focusing on her clavicle, apparently. Question number two. This is Paramore. Now there's a white line around it. That wasn't there before. Uh, and the album is Paramore. Haley Williams is peering out of the blind. Question three. This is an old one. Technically, it's not called what it's called, but it's by Led Zeppelin, and the album is Led Zeppelin 4. But it's actually just called Led Zeppelin or Untitled. That's dumb. Anyway, question four. This is the pride of Red Bank, New Jersey. This is Bon Jovi and their album Have a Nice Day. And then album number five. This is the White Stripes. I think, I don't know the name of this album actually. I think it's Elephant, but I'm probably wrong. That's just the first White Stripes album that came to my head. Let's go on to round number five. It's our toss up. And guess what? If it loads, it'll show you. Here we go. It could be anything, and this is what it is. Question number one. Using organs called the ampullae of Lorenzini, which is what I typically order at restaurants, sharks are able to detect what phenomena that humans can't. 20 seconds. Question number two, with a 30% score on Rotten Tomatoes, what film is currently in IMAX theaters inexplic inexplicably replacing showings of Tom's favorite film, Top Gun Maverick?
question number three. Instead of watching Sam Neill in that movie, which is the answer to number two, you should watch him face off against Cillian Murphy in a British crime drama by the order of what? I don't know what this means. 20 seconds. Question number four. Who's the governor of Louisiana? Tell me, huh? And question number five. Hester Prynne is the heroine of what classic work of American literature? 20 seconds. That is it for our toss-up, which means there's one and a half more questions. It's time for the Hail Mary. Wager between zero and ten points. If you want a little bit of a category to help you decide what your bet is, category is acronyms. Fun with acronyms. Do, 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 do. So, FWA. That's right. France World Airlines. Yes, and according to the French, according to the French, everywhere is the world. I don't, you know, I I saw something online that I was like, why, when French's whole economy relies on tourism, do they hate tourists so much? <laughs> because they're French. Maybe we can't stand Maybe the French. Do. Maybe they do me. You can't stand all of the French. That's. Yeah. That's rather presumptuous. <laughs> Ugh. Just can't stand Can't it. stand Australians. This is not a... <laughs> not, not liking the French is a very popular opinion. Amongst people. Oh, so that world. makes it right? Yes. If all of your friends didn't like the French, would you also jump <laughs> off a bridge? Unrelated to the friend thing? <laughs> Hey, Answer all the me. wagers are in, so we should okay. go to the helmet. Here's the question. Very short. What does QR in QR code stand for? And in case of a tie, for tiebreaker question, how many UPC barcodes are possible? Give me a number. Because I don't know. That's it. That's all the questions. Only answers are left. We're going to take a break. See who won. Stay tuned.
Hey, we're back. Let's go over the answers and see who won this. Bad, bad Leroy Brown. Round number five, answers, toss up. Using organs called the ampullae of Lorenzini, sharks are able to detect what phenomena that humans can't. They can detect electricity. Humans can detect electricity at least once. Question number two. With a 30% of Rotten Tomatoes, what film is currently in IMAX theaters, inexplicably replacing showings of Top Gun Maverick? That film is Jurassic World Dominion. By order of the Tom, we did not accept Jurassic Park. We did accept Jurassic World 3. Question 3. Instead of watching Sam Neill in Jurassic World Dominion, you should watch him face off against Cillian Murphy in a British crime drama by order of the Peaky Blinders. That sounds so dorky. By order of the Peaky Blinders. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna get a razor blade to the forehead. Wow. That's a, <laughs> a razor blade? Use a real weapon! <laughs> you 1890s uh... British bullies. Yeah. Question number four. Who's the governor of Louisiana? Uh, his name is John Bell Edwards. He is one of two Democratic governors in the South, along with the governor of, well, Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky's the South. Um, along with the governor of Kentucky. Andy Bashir, I think that's his name. Oh, and the governor of North Carolina, whose name I can't think of. So three. Oh. And question number five. Hester Prynne is the heroine of what classic work of American literature? That is The Scarlet Letter. As we all know, The Scarlet Letter. This is the letter. Hey. Is it? I don't know. I never read the book. Um, our Hail Mary question. What does the QR and QR code stand for? It stands for Quick Response. I thought it was Quartermaster with a capital Q and a capital R at the end. But now it's quick response, and how many UPC barcodes are possible? That's a cool 100 billion. So, gonna run out of those soon. Let's see who won. That's all of it. So, in order, from bottom to top, starting in 17th place with five points, we have Now is the Summer of Our Discontent. In 16th, Derek and his two amazing friends. Now is the Summer of Our Discontent at five. Derek and his two amazing friends at six. Solo Psy had seven, good for 15th place. Tarzan's Boys had 12 points in 14th place. In a tie for 11th, we have School is Out, but Camp is In, Tumbleweeds, and Jomo's Mojo, all with 16 points. In 18th point, in 10th place with 18 points, we have Alan Rickman. Drama Goons and The Very Best Day came in 9th with 19 points. Rise of the Dawn of the Planet of the Boomer had 21 points, good for 8th. In a tie for 6th with 22 points, we have Chet Holmgren wearing Joker makeup at only 18 minutes late. In 5th place with 24 points, not everything is a competition, but this is, and you lost. In 4th place with 26 points, Dan proposed, and I'm like, GF won't stop mentioning it, has 26 points. And before we get to the top 3, um, here's the ring. That was the ring. In 3rd place with 28 points, we have Malpal. In second place with 40 points, Ding Slosby, and just eked it out two points higher with 42 points in first place, Nolan Gorman hits a home run. Congratulations to Nolan Gorman, and I assume the rest of his team. Not the Cardinals, though, his trivia team. Uh, on your win this week, since you won, you get to choose between either a Fast Facts Live shirt of championsity, Amazon gift card, or a Creative Life Shop gift card. We'll be back next week with another edition of Fast Facts Live. Same fact time, same fact channel. Uh, thank you to everybody who played this week. A very special thank you to our patrons. And the biggest thank you of all, Tom, who just turned on his mic for producing the show. Thank you for hosting. You're welcome. The sun is setting behind you, and it's a very pretty background. Isn't it great? Right? Happy for you. <laughs> uh, as I said, we'll be back next week. In the meantime, everybody stay safe, have fun, get vaccinated. Bye-bye.